and uh, I work with GE Canada. And my colleague um, Paul um, is is also um, here tonight as well. So I'll just open with a few comments. Um, just a little bit of history about the the, the plant. Um, you know, we, we started there in 1905, so we've been in the neighborhood and area for a really long time. There's been lots of different types of uses there, commercial and industrial uses. And then in the early 1960s, we started um, manufacturing um, ceramic pellets. And those are the pellets that are, are used. Um, and um, I want to also mention that it's um, regular non-enriched uranium. So, uh, so it's naturally occurring in the soil. We take that and, and we make pellets from that. So the facility has been there since the early 1960s, and with regular passing of time, we um, have to apply and reapply for licenses. So the regulator, it's a heavily regulated um, facility, the regulator requires and have guidelines in terms of public notice, and that is um, regulated, and we have followed the guidelines with all those licenses um, we, you know, so yes, we published in the Toronto Star. Um, if you look at the sign outside the building, if you go onto the G Hitachi site, you will see what we do at the Lansdowne facility. So we follow the guidelines um, that we've had to do. But you know, looking at the audience here tonight, um, you know, obviously we follow the guidelines. Could we do more? Should we go over and above those guidelines? You know, we can we can do better so we can communicate a little bit better. So one of the things that we want to do tonight is start that discussion in terms of how we do community um, discussions a little bit better, so that's number one. Number two, this is a very safe plant, and I think part of the reason that we don't know really very much about us or the fact that we're here is because we haven't had a major incident since we started back in the early 1960s. Um, and, you know, there's not a lot of sort of big trucks, heavy truck traffic, that type of thing. We're a fairly quiet sort of operation, so that there isn't a lot of activity there that really draws attention as well. So, um, Paul, I don't know if you want to speak a little bit on the safety record. Yeah, I, yeah I, I just want to start by saying well, thank you, Donna, Callan, from Deacon, from I thank everyone for being here. Uh, we see this as an opportunity to uh, to get some facts out of our operation because the facts are on our side. As Kim said, we have a very safe operation. We have very uh, strict regulations to follow, and we have an excellent compliance record. Since the regulations were restructured in 2000, we have not had any notice of violation. Our operation has no impacts to the environment. This is determined by uh, various uh, methods that we use, which are independently validated by third parties. We're very proud of our operation. We've operated safely for 50 years, and uh, we see this uh, this meeting as a beginning to start the dialogue with residents and give you the, the facts and the answers to your questions. Um, you know, outside of tonight, we've got um, summaries of some of the facts here, which I encourage you to read. And also, we have set up a 1-800 number and a, a mailbox number dedicated for public information which we encourage you to send in questions or concerns you may have, and we'll do our best to answer. Thank you.